So how can the amazing bottle dancers fit into any theme that you are planning for your bar or bat mitzvah? Whether it's Hollywood and movies, whether your theme is music, how about fashion, or maybe even travel? Here's the answer. Let's say, for example, your theme is sports. When you and your guests get up to do the horror, are you going to be dancing it to take me out to the ball game? Of course not. You're going to be dancing to Jewish music. That's how we fit in, as we handle that part of your celebration. The amazing bottle dance itself is a wonderful and exciting way to kick off a horror that no one will ever forget. If you think about it, a theme is really all about decorations and ideas for centerpieces. For example, here's a very unique theme. Carly's Art Gallery. As you can see, the place cards were replicas of different masterpieces. The room was absolutely gorgeous. But a beautiful room doesn't ensure that you're going to have a great time. Kicking things off was a hilarious surprise visit by a rabbi. But he was a little confused, because he was actually looking for the Shapiro Gorfine wedding. When he recognized some people and realized that this indeed was Carly's bat mitzvah, that led to a fantastic grand entrance for the bat mitzvah honoree, and Carly was brought in high atop the shoulders of the chassids with a grand entrance fit for Queen Esther. The amazing bottle dance then followed, and it provided a wonderful prelude to a fantastic hora right out of the old country, featuring authentic klezmer music. By the way, we work with any DJ or band, as our music is all on CD. Let's say your theme is Hollywood. As you can see, there's a cardboard cutout of Darth Vader in the background. When Uncle Abe was called up to do the motzi and cut the challah, I don't think he sliced the bread with a lightsaber. A wonderful horror then followed. Here are a variety of themes that we have made surprise hit appearances at, themes that have absolutely nothing to do with anything Jewish. For Natalia's bat mitzvah, her theme was automobiles. There in the middle of the room you can see one of the centerpieces, a yellow Corvette. Here's Jackie's museum, again starting off with a surprise visit by the rabbi followed by the amazing bottle dance and horror, and certainly all to Jackie's delight. Ashley's Venetian Carnival. It's time to travel around the world with Aaron Airlines. The Beatles, each table a different album cover. And by the way, I think it's safe to say when it came time for their horror, they weren't dancing it to Yellow Submarine. And speaking of music, here's a bar mitzvah at the Hard Rock Cafe. You can see the gold and platinum albums and other memorabilia on the walls. The Hard Rock certainly has the rock and roll theme all sewed up. But when we appear at wonderful venues like the Hard Rock, the Roxy, the House of Blues, we add that touch of tradition that's obviously missing from a venue like that. Another client had their son's bar mitzvah at Roy's Hawaiian Fusion Restaurant. So what do the amazing bottle dancers have to do with a luau? The client loved what we did because, in her words, we were able to bring to the party that feeling of tradition that had begun earlier that morning at the synagogue as her son was called to the Torah. Oh, and as you can see, we don't need a lot of room for the bottle dance. You've heard of a conga line. How about a conga hora snaking through the tables? After the hora, and when we were all done, there was plenty of time for dancing with the DJ, plenty of time for dinner, and all the usual things that take place at bar and bat mitzvahs today. And we are entertainment not only for the adults, but for the kids as well. In fact, with this bat mitzvah's grand entrance, as we passed her friends' tables, they were bowing as if to say, we're not worthy, we're not worthy. So as you can see, you don't need a direct connection to your theme to have the amazing bottle dancers add an important touch of tradition to what is sure to be an unforgettable highlight at your simcha. <laughs>